Hello and welcome to this version of Marketing Tips for Authors, the video tip. My name is Tony Eldridge. I am the author of the action-adventure book, The Samson Effect, the book that Clive Kessler calls a first-rate thriller brimming with intrigue and adventure. Okay, in this video tip, we're going to be talking about how to take information from Google Analytics and use that to track visitors on your blogger account. So this video tip assumes two things. One, that you have a Google Analytics account. You'll need a Gmail account to open that up. Go to um, google.com backslash analytics and follow the prompts to open up an account. Once you get that, you can then, and we'll walk through how to set up, um, how to set up a profile to follow your blog. The second thing you'll need is a blogger account. This assumes you have a blogger account that right now you are you have a, created a blog that you have people following and that you're posting to. So wouldn't it be nice if you had the ability to track not just the number of people who came to your blog but information like where are they coming from? What part of the world are they coming from? What states are they coming from? What cities in the states are they coming from? How long are they spending uh, time. How 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 long of of time are they spending on your site? Which links are the most popular links on your blog? There's just a number of pieces of information that Google Analytics will tell you about people who come to your site, and that's what we're going to show you how to do. As I said, we're going to assume that you already have a Google Analytics account set up. Now I've created one under the character, uh, one of the characters in my book, Dr. Thomas Hamilton. And I've created uh, a, a profile called Dr. Thomas Hamilton Blog. Now the first thing we want to do under this account is add a website profile. We're going to add our blogger account to it. So I add the website profile. G Google Analytics is going to ask me first is this a new domain or am I adding to an existing domain? This is going to be a new domain. We're actually going to take the website of our blogger, doc, uh, blogger that we're doing and I've already set up a blog for Dr. Thomas Hamilton for this purpose. It's at drthomashamilton.blogspot.com we're in the United States. I'm in Texas, so I'm going to be on the central time zone. We are going to finish that. Now, the next thing Google Analytics does is it creates a code. And it tells us we need to install this code on, on our blogger blog. So what we do is we copy this code and then go into our blog that we created. Now I've signed in under Dr. Thomas Hamilton blog. We've created a blog called The Musings of Doc Tom. I've created a fake uh, profile. In fact, we can view the simple post I've already created. Uh, when the mood strikes, I will share my thoughts. Very simple blog. Hello world, I have a blog. This is my very first blog entry. I am so happy. Uh, this is just for illustrative purposes only. So this is my blog. I want to start tracking it using Google Analytics. I need to take that code and put it into this blog so that Google Analytics can start tracking how many people are coming to the musings of Doc Tom. Now in order to do that I need to go to my dashboard. I have posting settings and layouts. Under the layout tab we need to go to the edit HTML code now I don't want this to freak you out. This is the HTML of your template. You scroll down and you're going to see a lot of code. You don't have to know anything about code whatsoever. The only thing I want you to remember is scroll all the way down to the very bottom of this page. Now at the very bottom of the page you're going to look for this line that says end outer wrap wrapper. Put your cursor after that. Hit the return key to put a space after that because your code goes in between that line and the line that says body. So we've already copied that code that Google Analytics gave us. Now I'm going to hit control V and I'm going to paste it in there. That is all you do. Go to save template. 
And now as people start visiting the musings of Doctom, it's going to feed all information about those visitors back over to your Google Analytics account. Now it does take uh, up to a few hours for the code to start sending data back to Google. Sometimes it's a little quicker, but don't expect to get numbers right away. We want to finish it. Next time we log in to our Google Analytics account, we already have this blog profile set up. This status tells us that the tracking is not installed and it will say that until Google Analytics starts to receive data from this site. Once it starts uh, to collect data from the site, the numbers here, the numbers here are going to be populated and then we'll be able to actually go in and view the report. We can find out all the information that we want to know about where these people are coming from uh, in order to, uh, or these people who are visiting our sites, in order to find out what's the best marketing decisions we can make towards these people. My name is Tony Eldridge. I hope you have enjoyed this video tip on how to in install Google Analytics onto your Blogger blog. I look forward to seeing you at the next video tip.